Hi guys, how are you? Well, I've had a couple of, um, I suppose you'd say, requests about uh, when I was in the Navy. And one of them was to show you a photo of what I looked like. Well, I happen to have found one, but it's of a very, very, very young sailor. Now that photo was taken of me three months after I joined. I was the great age of 17. And I got my first draft to my first ship. And I'm not going to use names because I don't know whether I could still get in trouble for this one or not. But anyway, I got in a bit of a click uh, with a few of the senior guys to me. And somewhere along the track, before I joined the ship, these guys had found a back door, as you might say, into the dry food locker. And it happened to be one of four dry food lockers on the ship. But this one held the beer. Now, this door that they'd found was inside the galley and they could actually get into the back of the food locker. And when you open it up, it was just a wall of cartons of beer. So what they've been doing over a period of time is take a couple of cans out at a time. Anyway, I got in on this and because I wasn't allowed to drink in those days because I was too young. But I got my fair share. Anyway, one day, we're about four days out of Sydney after a six months trip up north and uh, we're coming back from Vietnam. And of course, the supply officer, in his wisdom, decides that we have to do a stock take on this beer locker of the beer. Well, I instantly panicked. Because I, I was one of the very few, and I mean very few, that knew what was going on. But from the inside of this beer locker, or dry goods store, you couldn't tell that this uh, pile of grog had been touched. You could only tell from the back and below. So it still looked like a big square block of cartons. Anyway, I thought, I, I just panicked. I didn't know what to do, because I knew if we got caught, we were going to get hung. So I had talked them around it by going, look, if it's 10 wide by 6 wide by X amount high, there's got to be X amount of grog on each pallet. Any rate, he, he wasn't going to wear that. He wanted every carton counted. But I said, sir, it's so simple. You know, it's five by f 10 by six high and there's 40 cartons on that row, 40, 40, 40, 40, and then you just deduct whatever the thing. Well, there he came to his senses and he thought, yeah, well, that's a better idea. It's not going to take a month to do it. It's only going to take a couple of hours by the time I've done this food, food locker and we've done the other dry goods locker as well. So I got around it, but by the Jesus... I was sweating tears of blood that day. And I mean, I was really dirty in my pants. Can you imagine what a 17-year-old, what it was like for a 17-year-old to have that sort of thing going through his head? I mean, really, I wouldn't have been in the Navy another day after we got back to Sydney if they would have found out. Neither would the other guys. We would have got hung, drawn and quartered. But at any rate, that's just another story. And I hope you enjoy it because... Um, but I'm having a bit of trouble trying to remember them now. You know, I mean, I can only go so far. Uh, I'm not going to make them up. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, anyway, it's been fun. It's always is fun and we'll keep going.